Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In previous videos, we talked about urine flow studies or urodynamic studies. We talked about urine electrophoresis, urine ketone bodies, urine cortisol, urine chloride, urine uric acid, urine catecholamines, and even the Benz Jones proteins. Today, let's talk about urine culture and sensitivity. Why do you culture any fluid? Because I want the bacteria to grow, because I want to know which type of bacteria is causing the infection. It does not have to be bacteria, by the way. What is sensitivity? Okay, now after knowing what specific bacteria is causing this infection, I need to know which and antibiotic will kill this bacteria. In other words, this bacteria is sensitive to what? Is the bacteria sensitive to amoxicillin or nitrofurantoin or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole or which medication? Here is the lovely urinary bladder. This is where most of the urinary tract infections are. Here are the urethra, it can get infected as well. Here's the ureter and here's the kidney. If I have just few bacteria in the urine with no symptoms, it's called asymptomatic bacteriuria. In most people it's no big deal in pregnancy it's a big freaking deal what if i have infection in my urethra urethritis in my bladder cystitis in my ureter ureteritis and in my renal pelvis and kidney pyelonephritis the infection is ascending starts downstairs and goes upstairs i could have bacteria in the urine while asymptomatic no symptoms whatsoever or i can have symptoms the symptoms depend on the severity and depend on which part of the urine tract the infection is at if the infection is just in the urethra then i would probably have frequency urgency burning dysuria some cases even pyuria pus in in the urine not just bacteria in the urine but pus in the urine if it goes up and reaches the bladder i.e cystitis then before you know it we'll have the same symptoms plus suprapubic pain and tenderness still no fever and no costovertebral angle tenderness but once the infection reaches the renal pelvis i.e pyelonephritis i will start suffering from all of these symptoms plus fever plus costovertebral angle tenderness. How can I diagnose urinary tract infection? Look for bacteria in the urine, look for pus in the urine, and culture the organism that's in the urine. Treatment, antibiotics. You can order sensitivity tests to help you choose which antibiotic. Urine culture and sensitivity. Why do we do it? To diagnose urinary tract infections. No kidding. And to diagnose fever of unknown origin, or UFO, I mean F-U-O, F-U. F me. What could be the cause of the infection? Bacteria, E. coli, by the way, is the most common cause of urinary tract infection. This is very important, but it doesn't have to be bacteria, it could be others. Let's collect the urine sample. Tell the patient. My dearest patient, please clean the urethral meatus with antiseptic, and then you gotta wash away and clean and remove and dry this antiseptic away. Do not allow this antiseptic to be in the sample that will send to the lab, because the antiseptic is antibacterial, it will kill the bacteria, rendering the entire test useless. The whole purpose of the test is to find the bacteria. We want to know which type of bacteria caused your infection. Next, begin to urinate for a few seconds. These first milliliters or ounces we do not want. Discard them in the toilet and then stop or pause the stream. Then this is the one that we want. We want the midstream. Please collect this after you have cleaned the meatus. We need the midstream in a cup. Fill the cup with your aromatic urine and then cap the cup. Shut it. Give it to the doctor or the nurse. The doctor or the nurse will label the cup with your name, date of birth, date of the sample, etc. And we'll send it to the lab as fresh as possible. Do not let it sit. It's gotta be fresh to make Gordon Ramsay happy. It's fresh and aromatic. That's the best culture ever. But hey, Metacosis, what if for some reason we cannot make it fresh? Then put it in the refrigerator. Unless you're trying to culture CMV in the urine, refrigeration for CMV will ruin the sample. After the midstream in the cup, oh, patient, sorry, forgot to tell you, you can continue your urination. Just keep voiding and finish. Some tips for the pros. In infants, we collect urine into something called the U-bag or by suprapubic aspiration. It's not as dangerous as it sounds. What if the patient is hospitalized and cannot void? Then we insert a urinary catheter and then we use a syringe to collect the urine sample through the built-in sampling port. After you withdraw the specimen, remove the clamp. 
What if this patient had surgery before, a specific surgery of urinary diversion known as ileal conduit? Where should I get the sample from? Should I collect the sample from the ostomy pouch? Shut up. You should do catheterization through the stoma, not the pouch. Back to the suprapubic aspiration. What type of needle do we use? 25 gauge. Where should I insert it? One inch above the symphysis pubis in the midline. Hey, medicosis, the patient wants to collect the sample at home and then bring the cup to the hospital. No, because by the time this happens, the sample will be contaminated. It's gotta be fresh. So it's better to have the patient in the hospital or just near the lab. If you can urinate inside the lab just next to the pathologist, even better. Common mistakes include contamination. Contamination could be from hands, from the urethra, from the vagina, from the rectum, etc. All of these sources of contamination can ruin the sample. Do you want to learn more about the menstrual cycle? Human placental lactogen, human chorionic gonadotropin, estrogen, progesterone, cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, vulvar cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, preeclampsia, eclampsia, gestational diabetes, acute fatty liver of pregnancy, and much more. Download my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Com. To learn more about postpartum fever, including infections, gangrene, trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery, ENT surgery, ophthalmology, etc., download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalist, where medicine makes perfect sense.